What's up guys um, and welcome to my channel. I would like to show you, I want to talk actually about this uh, record. It's called Yes, 90125. Came in 1983. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, this is the album that saved Yes. Yes, before this was gone and buried. So Chris Squire formed this band, which is supposed to be called Cinema. This was actually John Anderson joined him to sing, but the band is supposed to be only this. Uh, okay, you can see that. Yeah, the last four: Chris Squire, Trevor Robin, Alan White, and uh, Tony Kay. Um, Accidentally, they were, they were doing um, basically most of the demos from Trevor Robin, guitarist from South Africa. Uh, Chris played some of it to John Anderson, who by that time he was not in a band. John Anderson liked so much. He said, if you want me to do backing vocals or something, I'll do it. And Chris said, well, why don't you come and sing? So when John decided to join them, so the band, which was supposed to be called Cinema, they changed the name to Yes. And um, it was very unusual for many people. But for me, I remember as a kid when I got this one, I just thought, how is possible this album to be so good? If you listen to this record today, is fresh like it was made yesterday. This album will never die. It's just fantastic, fantastic album. And also the album cover. I love Roger Dean, but this kind of music, this album cover fits together perfectly it's just so so nice I believe there is no special no it's first edition by the way everybody knows uh, owner of lonely heart obviously that was the hit I heard it first on the radio in those days and somebody said, hey, did you hear? Yes, I said, I was in a commercial, actually. It only that uh, guitar intro. I said, nah, that cannot be yes, you know. Steve Howe was not a rock hero like that. And um, so immediately I bought the album. And boy, boy, what a joy it still is. This is the album that saved, yes. Yes, still going by today, but I don't... I, don't get me started on that. I, just a tribute band. But anyway, this is the, the album that saved. It took so long time until the next album came, so they, they released this uh, EP, very short album, of live tracks from that tour. This is the most successful tour, yes, ever did. These guys, in 1983 and 84, they were just in the top of the world. It's very important to notice this uh, a movie. Uh, yeah, this album was, uh, was, uh, it was uh, called 9012 Live. I forgot to mention that this number was um, the catalog number of the record. So this was a live album, and then this is... Um, um, a, I used to have this on VHS, and then I bought it on DVD. Um, you can see all the tracks. I pretty much all are from um, that tour, I mean, from the last album. Uh, I see no big good people here. 
so pretty much it's just this this album very very good movie you have options you can watch it together with um with some intros it's it's not exactly in, in the, this is the 80s you know so they did this kind of thing it is it's almost like a very long um a video of a song but this is like a very long very long it's, it's a great movie actually to watch i've watched it probably a million times so there's a very much 80s sound i highly recommend this album the album that saved band yes there you go thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next time